In this video, we're going to look at an example where we're integrating a rational function with not just linear or repeated linear terms. Here we actually have a simple linear um, factor in our denominator as well as an irreducible quadratic. So we're going to have a slightly different form, um, and so the integration will look um, a little bit different than in the, the previous two examples. So um, first steps, of course, we notice that this is a rational function that is proper, and I'm going to write down what its um, partial fraction decomposition is. So I have 10 over x minus 1 times x squared plus 9. The form here will be a over x minus 1 plus bx plus c all over x squared plus 9. Okay. Then I can go ahead and clear those fractions. So I'm going to have 10 equals a times x squared plus 9 plus bx plus c times x minus 1. Okay. So I'm going to use that, that second method here, um, although doing the algebra and getting a system of equations here is not too bad um, as well. But we know that um, this equation here will be true for all x, so we can go ahead and plug in some nice convenient values. So I'll choose to plug in x equals 1 first. So that'll give me 10 equals 10a plus b plus c, but then it would be times 0. So I just have 10 equals 10a, which makes my a equal to 1. Okay, um, And then I think about what other values might I want to plug in. Well, there's nothing else that's going to make a term go away completely, so I'll just choose to plug in some other nice small values. So if I plug in x equals 0, I can have 10 equals 9a plus c times negative 1. Okay, so notice that I already know what a is, so if I plug in a, I have 10 equals 9 minus c here. So notice that gives me 1 equals negative c, or c equals negative 1. Okay, so I'm just going to use some other space here on the page. So I can go ahead and plug in just another small number. Um, I'll choose to plug in x equals negative 1. Okay, you got to do three different values of x to solve for my three unknowns. So I'll have 10 equals um, a times negative 1 squared plus 9. So that'll end up being 10a plus negative b plus c times negative 1 minus 1 or times negative 2. But I know what a and c are equal to, so I can plug those in. So I have 10 equals 10 plus negative b minus 1 times negative 2. So let's see, if I subtract 10 from both sides, that'll be 0 equals, let's see, 2b plus um, 2 here. Subtract 2 from both sides, I have negative 2 equals 2b. So it looks like b is also equal to negative 1. Okay, so b is negative 1, a is 1, and c is negative 1. So now we're ready to use this um, decomposition in order to actually evaluate the integral. So we're going to have that our integral of 10 over x minus 1 times x squared plus 9 dx is equal to the integral of our a over x minus 1 plus bx plus c, so this will be negative x minus 1, all over x squared plus 9 dx. Okay, and so the integration just becomes a little bit more involved when we start having these quadratic terms um, in our denominator. So we know how we're going to um, integrate this first term. That's just going to be a log of the absolute value of x minus 1. So the question is, what can I do with this second term here? So I do notice that um, the denominator here is some quadratic. It's something that I can't factor any further, but it is quadratic. So I could use trig sub on it, um, but I do have another option too. Um, notice if I just have x in the numerator, if I have x over x squared plus 9, um, I could use a u substitution. And if I just have 1 over x squared plus 9, um, that looks an awful lot like the antiderivative rule that I have of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx, which we know to be arctan x plus c. Okay, so what we want to do with this particular one, or what I think is 
maybe a good way to handle it is to split this up. Okay. What I mean by that is if I, ha I have this negative x minus 1 in the numerator over this denominator, I can write that as negative x over the denominator minus 1 over the denominator. So let's see what this gives us. Okay. So we have um, our integral here of 1 over x minus 1 minus x over x squared plus 9 minus 1 over x squared plus 9 here dx. Okay, so we could have used trig sub, but it's a little bit long, okay, or we can try to break it up and handle it with some um, use substitution techniques. So notice for this one, I'm going to definitely be able to use use substitution. Um, so let's see how this goes. Let me write um, the log part first. So I have log absolute value of x minus 1 for that first term, then I'm going to be integrating this x over x squared plus 9, and then I'm going to need to deal with integrating 1 over x squared plus 9 dx. Okay. So let me go ahead and use um, a nice u substitution here. So I could let u be x squared plus 9. So my du is 2x dx, so I have 1 half du is x dx. So we've got log absolute value of x minus 1 minus our integral here of 1 half du over u. Okay, so then the question is how can I deal with this last um, piece? So we said with this one we were going to use u sub. One trick that I can use with this is to use algebra and a u sub. Okay. Now you could also use um, trig sub okay, on just that piece. You could decide to do x equals 3 tan theta on it and then find dx and go through that process. Let me just show you another option. Notice that um, I commented that this 1 over x squared plus 9 looks a lot like our integral of 1 over x squared plus 1. So can I make this look like 1 over something squared plus 1? Well, if I factor out the 9, I'd have 9 times x squared over 9 plus 1, okay? Or I could write this as 9 times x over 3 squared plus 1, okay? So I can see that this is um, similar to this form here, but with a little substitution. So if I let just choose another letter, let w be x over 3, then dw is 1 third dx, or 3 dw is dx. So let's see what this gives us. So we've got our log of x minus 1 in absolute value, minus 1 half the log of the absolute value of u, minus 1 ninth this integral of 1 over w squared plus 1, where my dx is becoming 3 dw. Okay, or I can pull that 3 out in front here. So I've got this 3 over 9. Okay, well now notice that I can use my antiderivative rule on the integral of 1 over w squared plus 1. I know that that's going to be arctan of w. So I have log of x minus 1 minus 1 half log of my absolute value of u, where u is x squared plus 9. And so I can go ahead and drop the absolute value bars because x squared plus 9 is always going to be positive. Then I'm going to have minus 1 third arctan of w plus c. Okay? And so in my final step here, I'll just put that all back in terms of x, remembering that what I'm integrating here was 10 over x minus 1 times x squared plus 9. So we've got log absolute value of x minus 1 minus 1 half the log of x squared plus 9 minus 1 third arctan of x over 3 plus c. And so this here is our final answer. So you want to keep in mind um, this particular trick here for dealing with the integral of some 
linear form here over a quadratic, we can split it into two pieces, use you sub substitution on the first piece, and use either trig sub or a little bit of algebra and substitution with the antiderivative rule on that second piece.